We no longer operate on a three hour, you know, seven to 10 news cycle. It's a 24 hour news cycle. And so, you know, in 2008, a lot of us would stay up all night making sure that our, you know, ad campaigns were, were hitting the media cycle so that we were taking advantage of what was coming out in the media. Um, you know, during a campaign, uh, things happen uh, by the minute and making sure that you have processes in place um, is extremely important, alerts in place. Uh, so anytime your candidate's name comes up, um, negative, positive, whatever it is, how are you going to respond to it, which actually goes back to needing to set up that process in the first place. Um, so that rapid response element uh, is extremely important uh, now for campaigns and the speed of technology has now uh, allowed us to actually get messages out um, extremely quickly, whereas before you'd have to wait you know, a couple days, weeks, uh, to get a television spot up. We can get advertising deployed, emails deployed, uh, content up on a blog, uh, videos up uh, in, in, in minutes, uh, at the very most hours. We ran a campaign uh, in 2008 called Truth Fights Back, uh, which was uh, for Senator uh, Kerry's uh, PAC uh, campaign for our country. And uh, the gist of the campaign was to offset smears um, against uh, Barack Obama and uh, the rest of the Democrats that were running. And so we would monitor news cycles literally um, every minute we would watch uh, the television, we would get things in uh, our, our alert system, uh, and so we would uh, make sure that we were bidding on the right terms. Uh, if anything came out, we were bidding on them right as the, as the media was hitting them uh, or beforehand. And uh, we always, you know, the feedback loop that we had with, with um, his new media staff was great because uh, we had auto approvals and we had a message set. So um, it was uh, that rapid response that allowed us to garner success uh, in offsetting attacks uh, against uh, the president and the rest of the Democratic candidates.